Hello everybody, um, so yeah, hi, uh, I'm Steve Bagful, um, obviously this, this is my channel, um, this is my cat, um, her name is Cleo, and she's prob pro probably going to be leaving us soon, yeah, there, there she goes, there, right, um, hello, so yeah, this is my uh, ceremonial boring update video for the end of the year, um, I, if you're new around here, which uh, surprising amount of you are new around here, um, yeah, almost got 10,000 subscribers now, so that's like, uh, what's more water pump? So, uh, yeah, that's like another digit. Um, yeah, we're almost there, almost there, the fifth digit. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I normally do these videos at the end of the year, just sort of, um, they're, they're, they're as much for my benefit as um, your benefit. It's just sort of me rambling off about stuff that I did this year, stuff that I really, the stuff that I really enjoyed and stuff I want to continue doing um, in the next year. Um, and uh, to keep everyone on the same page, just so we, just so we all know where everything is, what I'm going to be doing, and um, what the channel's going to look like in the coming months. Um, so yeah, it's been a very difficult year in the whole personal life side of things, but it's been a very, very productive year in the whole creative side of things for me. Um, which, you know, kind of makes sense, you know what they say, you suffer for your art, and... It's also been the most collaborative year that I've ever had, which um, I wasn't expecting. I've worked with quite a lot of people this year, and talking about stuff that I did this year that I enjoyed, it only really makes sense to go through it by people that I've um, people that I've collaborated with. Um, the obvious place to start with um, He Who Moans is the um, Snuggly Chibnall Time project, uh, which I embarked upon with the lovely, lovely Billy Tracy, John Granston, and Richard B. Brooks. Um, who've appeared around the screen um, in this shot because I'm going to put that, I'm going to put the faces in on when I edit this later. This is a, this is a very postmodern update video. Um, so uh, yeah, I knew when going into this year I would have to make a Chris Chibnall Doctor Who and Torchwood overview video at some stage because, you know, I talk about Doctor Who online and Chris Chibnall's written a few, fair few um, Doctor Who and Torchwood episodes that I haven't talked about before. But I was kind of dreading having to rewatch them and um, try, try and um, put together some thoughts about them. And I'd worked with um, Billy, John and Richard on podcasts before we'd appeared together. And uh, Billy is easily the funniest person on the internet, in my opinion. Um, and I trusted them to all be funny, and it really, really worked. Like, I laughed so much it hurt during Snuggly Chibnall time. It was it was just such a fun project, and Billy, John, Richard, you all have my warmest thanks for uh, agreeing to um, agreeing to let me inflict torch Chris Chibnall pen, Doctor Who, and Torchwood on you. Um, but yeah, all, all three of them have expressed interest in coming back to do something similar next year. Um, the similar thing that we're probably going to end up doing next is Torchwood Miracle Day. Um, the reason being, I still haven't seen Torchwood Miracle Day. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was. I was on a podcast several years ago with um, with Trilby, Mister Tardis Reviews, and I said that I'd never seen Torchwood Miracle Day, and he said, "Oh, you were one of the lucky ones." Yeah. Um, yeah. It started out as an oversight, and then I sort of was putting it off for the purpose of doing something for the channel at some stage. Because, like, I didn't realise Miracle Day had been on. With Children of Earth, they advertised it everywhere. It was on in a prime slot on BBC One. And, but with Miracle Day, I didn't see any adverts for it, and by the time I'd heard it was on, it was already about halfway finished. And, and people were saying by that point that it's really not very good. So I never got round to fin never got round to starting it while it was on. Then when it had finished, it was like this daunting 10 episode task, um, and that was obviously years and years and years before I was actually reviewing shit on the internet. Um, then I just kept putting it off and putting it off until it was like three years later and I remembered, oh yeah, I haven't seen that yet, but by which point I was doing podcasts and things, so, and I've been putting it off ever since because I knew I'd probably end up doing something with it at some stage, so it has to happen sooner or later, and Snuggly Chibble Time was a lot of fun, so... You yeah, know, that's an idea. It'll probably pr probably end up sur surfacing eventually. Um, so yeah, that's a big He Who Moans long-term project that's probably going to take quite a lot of time to put together um, because the, I was do I was doing pretty much nothing but editing the massive Chibnall video for about um, 
big two week stretch in the middle of 2018. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, so hoping to uh, do something like it again next year. Um, in terms of other He Who Moans type things, you obviously know that I'm probably going to end up finishing season 11 at some stage. Um, I haven't really liked it that much. It's been alright. I'm really surprised by the polarised reaction to it because I don't think it's ambitious enough to be called shit or good, really. But um, yeah, it's been alright. Demons of Punjab was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm going to finish it. Why not? Uh, I probably will do some more Big Finish stuff as well in the new year because you may have noticed I haven't done as much of that recently. I kind of got a bit burnt out with it because those videos are a lot of work and because a lot a lot goes into um, visualising what I'm listening to and translating that into pictures and and um, breaking apart and analysing it and all that shit. Um, but yeah, I probably will do some more in the new year, particularly Warmaster 2. Uh, I'd also like to uh, extend my warmest thanks to Nathaniel Wayne, who um, was amazing to work with on those uh, two collaborations we did on the um, Eighth Doctor movie and Warriors of the Deep, which, um, which, which uh, I love. I love the response he sent me after um, he watched Warriors of the Deep. Just like you did not prepare me. <laughs> you did not prepare me well enough for um, Warriors of the Deep. I am very sorry, Nathaniel. But. Uh, yeah, th th those two videos were a lot of fun, and um, and uh, I have s I have some ideas for how to end this storyline. <laughs> Spoiler warning. Um, getting on to my horrible, horrible class videos, um, I would obviously like to extend every single scintilla of thanks that I could possibly feel in a million years to Harry Robbins, who is the most talented person on YouTube. I feel comfortable in saying that. I remember when he did those amazing opening titles for He Who Moans the other year, um, and he asked me whether I wanted some more help on animation, and I su suge suggested helping me out with my class videos. I never expected something like Cafeteria Foods to um, be the result. I was, I, I, I was absolutely floored by Harry's work on that. Like if. If Harry doesn't end up going very far in the animation industry, I will be very, very surprised. He just... I feel totally flawed and honoured to have had him work on an episode of Class for me. That video was amazing. Thank you, Harry. Thank you so much. I do really want to do more Class in the new year, because um, I had quite a lot of fun doing um, Class 8, the new Headmaster, which you may have seen that I put up for Halloween, which is really, really quite horrible. I do have more class that I want to do in the new year. I was originally going to end it here, but um, I, ju I, just sort of, I just sort of, as I continued on with the project, I kept having more ideas and more things that I want to do with it. Um, does anyone does anyone really remember the point I was um, originally trying to make about the um, BBC BBC Three version of Class originally? I, I can't even fucking remember anymore. I have four episodes of Class that I would like to do in the new year um, because I want, uh, originally I was just going to um, set it at the school and it's going to just going to be cartoons set in the school, but I want to start exploring the town that um, this is set in, because uh, as I revealed in Class 8, the living flash shooting computer has got its influence all throughout the town. Um, I would like to start exploring more lore and mythos behind the living flash supercomputer and all, all the sorts of mental shit that's happening in this town. Um, I've got this one idea for an episode called History Project, um, which is about this kid going up to his um, grandfather and asking him, so grandfa grandfather, what did you do in the war? And then his grandfather goes into this really dark story. Um, but um, yeah, that's that's gonna be, it's, it's gonna get even more horrible. I know it seems like it couldn't get more horrible, but it's going to get more horrible, sorry. Uh, getting on to voiceover TV reviews, uh, there's quite a lot of stuff that I'd like to talk about that's, um, com that's coming up, and I have done a lot more random, off-the-cuff Netflix things that have just got that have just got released that everyone's talking about on the internet this year. But yeah, I would like to keep doing those where I just sort of something comes out and then I spend a week with it and get get my get my thoughts down and then just um, bang a video out there onto the internet. Speaking of which, I do need to talk about the new Watership Down pretty, pretty soon. Because my video from when it was first announced um, is my most viewed video ever. And, you know, 
it's easy views and you've got to chase those trends you got to get those numbers up and all right yes i'm a slave to my view counter okay but fucking who on youtube isn't a slave to their view counter come on that's the fucking point speaking of which i do have an idea for my 10,000 subscribers um special um yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, getting on to other stuff I've done this year, uh, you may be wondering what's happening to that book which um, uh, which uh, I released the remastered version of The Internet Always Remembers, which that's going to be a story in the book. Um, the book is almost done. It's very, very close to done. Um, there's just... Um, I'm, try I'm trying out a framing device at the moment, and seeing whether I can get it to work, and I think it is going to work, um, I'm not sure. Uh, that's the la that's the la literally the last thing I have to do with it, and um, um, and while I'm on the short stories, I would obviously like to extend my warmest thanks to Mr. Rob Sherman, who I've met up with a couple of times this year, and he's offered me a lot of really insightful comments and uh, feedback, and just sort of been helping me prod me in the right direction on the book, and um, I don't I don't think I would have been done nearly as um, I, w I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been as nearly far along without his help. So um, Rob, if you're watching, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I don't have a um, published anthology with a story in it to um, show you and plug this year like I did last year, but um, I have had a couple of acceptances this year. Um, which um, the earliest that one is going to be out, it should be out in January, um, this new anthology that I've got a story in. Um, uh, the story's called End Credits, and it's about how one day the end credits of mankind just sort of start scrolling across the sky, and you can see it from all corners of the Earth. But because the first billion or so years of humanity was like before language evolved, it's just written as complete gibberish. So, um, so everyone on all corners of the earth are just sort of staring up at this gibberish scrolling across the sky like, what does this mean? Uh, but yeah, you'll probably hear me plugging that all the time when the anthology comes out. Uh, I think that's just about everything that's um, providing us with a little blueprint for what's going to happen in the new year. Um, uh, last people to thank, obviously, are my patrons, um, past and present. I am very grateful and never expected in a million years that people on the internet would want to give me money for doing for doing things I'm honestly uh, honestly I'm very very thankful um, uh, and also very thankful to just anyone else who's just uh, who's just been watching my stuff um, whether they give me money or not um, because uh, I am an attention whore give me your attention please I crave your eyeballs sorry um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you so much to everyone who's watched my channel, who's subscribed, um, all the people I've mentioned, all my patrons. Hope you've all had fun, um, and hope you stick around for the new year for some more of it, because I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. Um, uh, so, yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Bye-bye.